Hi everyone, Scott Howard. You can find me at Scott J. Howard on uh, LinkedIn as well as at Howard Scott J. on Twitter. Those are usually the best two handles to find me at. <clears throat> and I can be emailed at uh, scottjhoward at gmail.com. The uh, kind of reason I'm reaching out is uh, friends with Jennifer, Jennifer Rocco and kind of excited about um, the community she's building and participating in it. So I'm fully open to being helpful to you and responding back to your messages and uh, videos. So please offer feedback on, uh, on what you see here and I'd be happy to do the same with you. Um, so a little background on me. I have been in uh, technology for um, closer to the 20 years than not. Um, most of the last 10 years all in um, early stage technology startups. So a huge piece of that kind of ties into <clears throat> you know a new vision, a new world um, is always kind of what I've been selling of when you adopt this technology things will be different in your organization and and you know painting the rosy picture that that will be and uh, uh, you know somewhat talking through the pain of all that adoption and change that goes with it because humans and organizations are quite resistant to change and, and there's lots of opportunity and challenges that go in with that. Um, but what I've really been getting out of the the COVID-19 situation here that I've been experiencing in Toronto uh, along with my young family of, of two little girls is, um, you know, in the business context, every business, every person is in the, what is, what is the world going to be like on the other side of this lockdown, the quarantine, you know, kind of the, you know, the crisis. Um, and I think everyone's very clear that it'll, that almost all businesses and organizations will be different, some profoundly different, some only a little bit different, but everyone's going to have a new kind of business as usual. And, you know, that's obviously an amazing opportunity for someone who's in the business of selling um, the future, you know, technology transformation, things like that. Um, I think everyone's current moment of being in COVID-19 and locked down in their basement like I am right now <clears throat> is you're going to use technology more. So you could have been a very analog, very in-person business uh, pre-COVID, you know, at least in this moment of, you know, the three, four, six months, however long this is going to last, of being remote, you're being, you know, your business being forced to use technology. Um, and so some of that's going to stick and then minimally that's going to create this experience of, well, that technology is not so bad and how do we use that better? Um, and then very much so a lot of these companies are going to really transform and become much more digitized, much more in the cloud. And so that's an exciting opportunity. And that's really where I've been focusing my time. And a lot of that is into, you know, the research, the customer discovery, both as a salesperson of what's the problem what's the opportunity if we solve those problems, as well as kind of very market research, block and tackle, a little bit academic type startup research of what's the problem? How do we solve it? Um, what are the different opportunities there? And the area I've been focused on, you know, which I think is very much affected and will continue to be affected by um, the outcome of this virus is, is supply chain. And supply chain was already under a lot of pressure to become more digital, become more forward thinking, progressive in its use of technology, um, you know, because of the forces of the Amazon, e-commerce, um, things like that. You know, now because of physical distancing, the effects on Main Street, so restaurants, small grocers, um, you know, probably being shut down and a lot of them not coming back, uh, you know, food and other other products that cons us consumers consume are going to get distributed to us differently. And that's going to require a big transformation around how the technology of supply chain logistics work. Um, so we're doing lots of research there trying to figure that out. So I think the big, you know, big interesting part of that is until we come up with Star Trek transporters, humans move all the stuff we consume. You know, unless it's bits and bytes, you know, this mouse, this phone get touched by humans somewhere, put into trucks, planes, trains, automobiles, and delivered to a store for us to go grab and, and pick up or to our door to be taken out of a box and used. Um, so nothing about that's going to digitize. The how we do that underneath is going to digit is digitizing very rapidly. So that's a really interesting challenge. Um, so I'm really curious about the community. Any feedback on that? What you're experiencing as a you know a physical events producer, a 
um, you know, producer of physical products, a retailer, a restaurant owner, a you know, logistics person, obviously, um, working in supply chains, what that looks like, as well as other technologists and, uh, and salespeople, how you having this conversation about what, what is the future look like? How does transformation happen, um, both you know, during the crisis and as we come out of it, and any kind of uh, feedback loop around you know, how does this evolution happen, um, what does it mean, and how to communicate it um, is really interesting to me. So, again, you can find me at uh, Scott J. Howard at gmail.com and Scott J. Howard LinkedIn, um, Howard Scott J. On, on Twitter are typically the best ways to find me. And uh, wishing everybody good health and, uh, and having, hopefully having a little bit of fun. And doing some okay business in the in this tough environment, it's uh, it's challenging for everyone. But so I hope you're well. Thank you.